Hello students and welcome to your English language class. Today in this class we will be doing the question answers and book exercise of this chapter. The Spirit of Youth written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. And I have already explained this chapter in the previous class to you. So today we will be taking up all the questions and also the exercise given at the end of the chapter. So the first question is what are Dr. Kalam's four steps towards achievement? So the four steps are first have an aim in life before the age of 20, second work hard towards that aim, third acquire knowledge continuously and fourth learn to persevere against the odds and succeed. Okay so these were the these are the four steps of Dr. Kalam towards achievement. Now second question, who are the unique achievers Dr. Kalam mentioned in his speech? So Dr. Kalam mentions five unique achievers in his speech. First Thomas Alva Edison, second the Wright brothers, third Alexander Graham Bell, fourth Sir C. V. Raman and fifth Madame Curie. Okay. Third question is what battle must students fight to retain their uniqueness? So the students must fight the battle against the world which would want them to um, make themselves just like everybody else. Okay. And fourth question is how can knowledge be a friend? So knowledge can be a friend as just like a friend it will accompany us forever okay it will it will be our best friend who will accompany us wherever we go in our life fifth question is who are the people who can build righteousness in the heart of the youth so first of all mother secondly father and our teachers Sixth question, according to Dr. Kalam, where does one acquire knowledge from? So, mm, one acquires knowledge from one's ho um, home, from good books, good teachers and from good human beings. Okay. And question number seven set off on your wings of fire what does dr kalam mean by wings of fire so dr kalam means by wings of fire your hard work your enthusiasm your determination and your strong will and last question is why did shrikant impress dr kalam so when dr kalam asked the students what do you want to become he stood up and he answered that I will become the first visually challenged president of India. Okay. Because according to Dr. Kalam, aiming low is a crime. So I hope you will be able to answer these questions and write them neatly in your notebooks. Now the B part is answer these questions in two or three sentences. So first question here is, think to yourself, I will win. Comment on Dr. Kalam's purpose behind this statement. So this uh, statement means, uh, the purpose behind this statement was to motivate students and to inculcate positive thinking in young minds. Okay. Second question is, why does Dr. Kalam ask the youth of today to retain their uniqueness? Because Dr. Kal Kalam didn't want the youth of today to get lost in the crowd. Okay. Third question is describe Dr. Kalam's knowledge equation. So in the beginning itself there is uh, Dr. Kalam's knowledge equation which is knowledge is equal to creativity plus righteousness plus courage. Okay. So...
learning teaches creativity creativity leads to thinking and thinking provides knowledge and knowledge makes you great okay and according to dr kalam the three components of knowledge are creativity righteousness and courage and the last question is how does i can do it attitude build success what motivates you about kalam speech so um uh, i can do it attitude can build success when we um, believe in ourselves and persistently work towards achieving our goals okay and uh, kalam motivates all the young minds to work really hard to be um to be unique and to uh, persistently work towards achieving our goals okay and who do you think dr kalam lists of okay why do you think dr kalam lists a few unique achievers to his audience is it to teach or to motivate or to do both discuss in class now this is actually no uh, discussion uh, part so okay you can um, as well write it in your notebook just write the answer that yes uh, dr kalam lists a few unique achievers to his audience to teach as well as to motivate them okay that's why he cited some examples like um thomas alva edison and um right brothers alexander graham bell sir c v raman and madam curie during his speech okay now here's the exercise this is the grammar part now read these sentences if you get a good education you will grow wings of fire if water freezes at 0 degree celsius it becomes ice if it rains a lot the river will flood so these sentences talk about cause and effect ki agar aisa hua to ye ho jayega ye hua to aisa ho jayega so there is cause and effect okay so if something is done something will happen as a result of it so inko hum kaise likhte hain if plus present tense will plus infinitive if you get a good education comma you will grow wings of fire now the question is complete these sentences with the correct forms of the verbs in the brackets so first one is if you heat up water it will turn into uh, vapor second is if you need my raincoat i will lend it to you third is if you eat your food now you will not have anything left for lunch and fourth is if we eat all this cake we will feel sick now the second question is match the words in a with the correct words in b to make complete sentence first is they will go on a holiday if they have time second you will be late if you don't hurry up third is if my mother asks for me tell her i am at vishi's house the garden will look bare if there are no trees in it if sunita wants to go to college she will have to work hard and paresh will be happy to do it if you ask him okay now here's the vocabulary part yeah this one so now you have to choose one word from the box to complete each set of words content happy pleased satisfied hungry starving famished famished revenous okay third is rage ire wrath fury express say communicate convey all these are synonyms okay and fifth is cold freezing icy frosty now use the words from the box above to complete these sentences first one is the hearty meal satisfied him second everyone was shivering in the frosty weather in spite of their woolen jackets third is the fury of the thunderstorm lessened by morning fourth lata is moving to delhi did you convey your best wishes to her 
and fifth is she missed lunch she must be ravenous now so you just do all these uh, exercise and all the question answers in your course book notebook and submit your homework by 3 o'clock tomorrow okay and thank you for watching this video